Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV Sunny. Um, not the result that your call wanted tonight. Um, just kind of your initial reaction to Casey's defeat. It was a tough fight. It was a um, hard opponent. You see it in him. He, uh, he got caught quite a lot of the counters, but um, overall, I think Casey had a good had a good time in there. Um, you can see um, probably it might have been a weight issue going down to fly weight. Probably have a look at that, but. I think the atmosphere was unreal. I think everyone was behind him. I, I couldn't hear anything in there at one point. It's definite, but I thought it was a great fight. I think for me, the scorecard was a bit wide. Yeah. Um, thought Casey's work rate could have picked up in the middle of it. But look, he's gone through wars before. He's gone through defeats before, and he's picked, his back, picked himself back up and gone again. And that's what we're going to look for, Casey. This ain't the end. He's going to come back. He's going to come back a lot stronger. And he will be world champion. Yeah. Um, I know there was a couple of people saying that some members of the board said that Casey wasn't even in the fight at all. Um, yeah, just kind of your take on that. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you see that yourself. I mean, to be honest, it's probably one of the best fights I've seen in your core atmosphere-wise and everything. Uh, at the makings of a just an excellent fight. Uh, Jackson Chalk, all credit to him. He came out of the game plan and pulled it off. This is what we've got to revisit. We'll revisit Casey's situation. We've got to revisit everything. But listen, like I said, Casey, outside the ring as well as in the ring, he's had his wars. He's been through a lot, but he picks himself back up and he comes back stronger. And that's one thing about Casey Kademi. He will be back and he will be back stronger. Yeah. I mean, it never helps getting dropped at all. But in the first round, um, I guess from then, is there always going to be a little bit of tentativeness when you're going into exchanges? once you've kind of felt that early on? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a well title fight. Look, you're going to have the nerve straight away. It's going to go on. But, listen, you need to you need to pick yourself back up and go through. And I think that's what he did in the mid-rounds. I think he picked himself back up. Probably um, could have let his hands go a bit more, picked his shots, worked the body. But, again, this is something the case is going to have to revisit. He's going to have a look back at the fight, see what he can work on, and then that's it. We're going to come back even better. Yeah. Um, I guess he takes perhaps a little bit of time to just kind of settle himself down and, and relax and ha have some of his own time. Um, I don't want to do the where does he go from here question, but obviously I know how devastated from speaking to him the two draws were and how much mentally that affected him. This is obviously going to hurt. Um, is it going to be quite a tough period uh, for Casey now? Casey is a resilient person. Casey is, everyone knows Casey's story and what he's been through the last couple of years will know that He's a very, very resilient person that can pick himself back up and go again. And for me, I, I can see him doing exactly the same. Uh, I think he does need time to regroup, rethink, have a look. But probably flyweight's not his weight. Maybe that was an issue. Maybe the start super fly looked very strong. He looked very in the groove. Maybe the weight cut does affect him a bit. But again, look, we go there, we try, and we will go again and try. Um, did you speak to him in the ring after, like kind of in the immediate aftermath? Like, how is he? Has he said anything to, to you? Yeah, look, I mean, he's uh, he's down at the moment. Was he accepting of, of the defeat at the time? Listen, I think we all thought it was closer than what it was. Um, I kind of think the two referee scorecards were outrageous. I mean, six rounds. There was not six rounds in that fight. But we look at it. I think he. Um, I think that he had the crowd behind him. You're going to think that you're going to win, but. But it happens. This is where we go from here. Is we we take him back out again. This is what we do. We develop fighters. We know that we can get them out again. We know we can motivate and we know we can drive them and get them back up to where he's supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, because this is a full package of a fight. We know how talented he is. It was loud in York Hall tonight. You can watch it on Telegram. It's, it's in Afghanistan. It's on the Queensbury YouTube channel. This is a fighter with the complete whole package. Um, so it might not go right the first time, but this this will go right. This will go right, yeah. Casey, Casey, there's one thing about Casey and that is just just his mental capacity that he, he's got to go back and try again. He's got to win. He wants to be the first Afghan world champion and that is not deterred. We, and then he will be. Yeah, he will be. He will be. He will go again. This is not a thing. I mean, we've, we're looking probably, Marcel Braithwaite's got a half fight for the IBO world championship. Listen, 
we get Casey back up there, he's going to be, he's in the world rankings now after that fight. <coughs> it doesn't matter if it's a defeat or not, he's in the world rankings. Listen, we can get him back to his international in the continental title, let him defend that, get back up the rankings and super, super fly away. And look at that for a mouthful in fight. Beat the person that beat you. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.